Hey guys, and welcome back to my Dagenham and Redbridge career mode episode 4. And we start with an away game to Morecambe. Early on, we pick up a corner, swung in there from Hal. Cleared out as far as, well, it couldn't have been Hal because he picked the ball up there, but the ball comes out to Hines and he hits the shot, but it was always heading over the crossbar. And now Morecambe have a corner of their own, swung in from Marshall, headed down by Bell, but luckily Hal is there on the line to clear it out as far as Lee. Lee plays a lovely ball here over to Josh Scott who's bursting behind the defence of Morecambe and is able to chip the keeper. It's off the post but Lee's in there to put the ball into the back of the net. A lucky goal you could say but it was a beautiful effort from Josh Scott. Just about missed by hitting the post. Luckily Lee was there though to put it away for us. Look here. Unlucky there from Scott but Lee pots it in with a nice finish. Very good goal from Lee. And right, he deserved the goal, you know, he's been playing well, he's been doing well in training, he deserved to get a goal there. Some sloppy defending though by us here, allowed uh, Marshall through, and then Williams' header there just goes wide. Limited knew it was going wide, so he didn't have to make a save though. Josh Scott plays a nice 1 2 here of Lee. He gets it into his feet, and he's got support in Hal, but he decides to go on his weak foot, and it was never really going to trouble the keeper. And that was the half-time score at 1-0. Good first half for us. Very good first half. Luke Howe comes through here in the second half. Plays it into Hines. Hines looking to get the cross into the middle. He does towards Scott. But it was a defensive header just behind, over the crossbar there from Diagne for, for Malcolm. So from the corner, Midialito comes over to take. Swinging in a good ball towards Lee. Who he gets cleared out by a dumb... Uh, oh... He got cleared up by Dummond and then Zavon Hines, what an effort to hit the crossbar. So close from there. Again, Hines comes bursting through behind the vents, looking to take a shot and roaches down to make the save though for Morecambe. I'm surprised he's still playing. He's been there for a few years, I think. I think he was he was the keeper when we were in the playoffs, I think, for Morecambe. You know, he's been there a good three or four years at least. So I'm quite surprised to still see him there, but obviously he's loyal to Morecambe, of course. We get this corner here from Alito, swung in towards Doe. It comes down to Doe and it gets blocked away. And clearance only goes as far as a go-go. He plays it into Scott. Scott gets it into Alito, who has his effort curling wide from the finesse shot. And we make a double substitute here. Louis Dennis and Southway coming on to get Southway some experience. And hopefully Dennis can cause more of a threat for us going forward. Alito comes bursting through here, gets to cross in towards Murphy, who just heads it over the crossbar. Josh Scott playing it over for Louis Dennis, the substitute. He's looking, he's done a couple of step overs there, gets the effort. Saved by Roach. Howell gets it into Scott. Scott slipping it through for a go-go. Blocked by Diagne, and we just could not seem to put it in there. A good effort from a go-go. Lovely vision for Scott to put it into the path, and that was heading in before the block unfortunately it was blocked Elito gives it into a go-go here he gets his cross in towards Murphy and he pots it in 2 nil, and seals the points for us good effort there from Murphy nice goal from Murphy nice header good ball in from uh, Elito I think it was or a go-go actually and a good header from Murphy just before full time, we're looking to get another goal. Murphy playing it through for a go go. Coming through. Looking for support. He hasn't got it, so he decides to shoot. And a good save from Roach. You gotta be honest, it was a brilliant save. But that was full time, and we did win 1 0. Coming back to the office, we get this email back from Manchester United agreeing that they'll allow us take Yanazai on loan which is fantastic you know Yanazai is a great young player and he could really might do good for us I, I hope at least that is hopefully he can do good for us we um into our next game we are home to Port Vale in the Johnson Paint Trophy hoping to progress early on Lewington falls into a save and a good save from him Ball gets played over again, Paul Vow on the attack. They are in League One, so they should prove a threat to us. 
and that's proven there. Hughes coming through in the 24th minute to put Port Vale in front, unfortunately. But you know that's that's what they'll do in the division above us. They're more experienced and they have better players, I guess. But we're still not going to give up. We're looking for an equaliser. Elito there could have headed it across goal. Decided to go for goal and got a corner out of it at least. It was on target, so it did prove a threat. But keeper probably could have caught it. To be honest, Elito trying something new, getting the ball out to Hines who hits it just going wide and that was half time 1-0 we did make a few chances which is what we planned to do of course on the hour mark Port Vale through again we can't quite get cleared we, we're putting in the challenges but we're just giving the ball away there and Myrie Williams is able to have a shot which was saved easily Hines coming through here we swap the wings gets it towards Scott lays it off to Alito who has the effort again Hitting the side netting. Yanazai coming on for his debut with Brian Waddle as well. A go go placeable out to Yanazai trying to see what he can do and oh so close. His first chance on loan at us and he was ever so close to scoring there. Scott playing the ball over here for Brian Waddle coming through and he just doesn't get it away from the keeper and Neil is forced into an easy save but Yanisai proving the threat that he will be and it wins a free kick here Robertson booked as Yanisai tried to get away Shields coming off here for Bingham and Josh Scott comes over to take the corner Norm the free kick sorry normally we'd want him in the box but he does decide to take it and it gets towards Doe and so close to equalising there. 90th minute, Port Vale looking to seal the win. Griffith coming through, plays it over to Mohamed Lewington. Got down to it low, but it's still not cleared. And then the effort there, Lewington gets it. He's trying to get up the pitch to try and get the equaliser. But it was too late, and that was full time. We did lose 1-0 to Port Vale, and we are out of the Johnston Paint Trophy, unfortunately. But we did get some consolation money I guess in two thousand pounds which isn't really a lot but it could it could mean something for us here you can see how we line up Yanazai getting his first start at Chesterfield against Chesterfield and early on he does win the ball back here trying to get away he's got Murphy in support looking for him gets the ball towards Reese Murphy but from there he's never really gonna score a header He's not Luis Suarez, I guess. <laughs> Hines picking up the ball here. Trying to get that ball towards Scott, but he was miles offside. Good finish from him, but look, I mean, that's really bad. He did put his hand up saying he didn't actually want the ball, but I guess misunderstood from Hines, and he did cross it into him. Richards plays the ball over for the Rikwa here. Trying to make a tackle, but Lewington comes out. Hoyt blocks it, but then the Rikwa is in again to get the the goal to put them in front after Hoyt blocked it on the line we're looking for an equaliser Zavon Hines gets it out to Femi swinging it in towards Scott but it's cleared out by Everett only to a go go who hits the shot straight towards Lee Richards again for Chesterfield gets it into O'Shea Wilkinson's able to make the tackle but he got tackled by his own player though and O'Shea comes through and again look we just cannot seem to get it cleared and then eventually Lewington falls into making a fantastic save and that was half time 1-0 to Chesterfield we won't be keeping our heads down for too long we will look for that equaliser the ball gets played over here for Yanazai he's looking out wide for Hoyt on the overlap the ball played into Scott and there is the equaliser that I was talking about Josh Scott making it 1-1 good header there from Scott and that is what he's made of with them headers he always seems to score them really but that is heading OP on FIFA 14 and now Yanazai comes off in his first debut we don't want to overuse him and overplay him really late on Hines comes through swinging that cross in towards Howe easy save for Lee not quite the header we was looking for and that was full time at 1-1 another point but really it was a good performance but not the best that we've done and now you can see it's just transfer deadline day I like the new layout from it it really is looking good 
We're just really going through to see if we can do anything, but you can see we will not have funds to sign anyone. So we're just going to quickly skim through and quickly, hopefully, get this over with nice and quickly. I just wanted to show you guys it. You can see some of the sign-ins we've made. Lee, Canavan, Southway, and Yanazai. Four new sign-ins coming in, which is really good for us. You know, that's, that is a good transfer window for me. Four players, that is a brilliant transfer window to be honest. There, look on the right hand side, Aguero going for 50 million to Barcelona. We can't make signings like that, of course. But we have got this game here against Hull City, a famous Hull City in the Premier League. And this is a Capital One Cup game. Mela comes through here. We can't make the tackle as Wilkinson looks for it, but Lewington. Forced into an early save and a fantastic save, showing what he's made up against Premier League opposition. Hines get caught, caught, got caught out there, and Livermore coming through gets it into Corrin. Another good save by Lewington, but unfortunately it drops straight back to Robert Corrin, and it gets put in. Scott, he's not having any of it. He wants us to get an equaliser. Plays it through for Hines. Looking to get into Murphy, he just could not get it under control to uh, force the keeper into making the save. Mailer coming through again, Wilkinson closing him down, the ball gets played into Danny Graham. A lovely cross in, Femi can't get it cleared, it hits Hal. And luckily, the whole player was offside. So, it was given as offside, otherwise that would have been an easy goal for the, uh, the player on the six-yard box for Hull but at half time it was 1-0 Graham picks up the ball and he plays it through for Brady Lewington coming out narrowing the angles makes a great save Brady keeps it in here lays it off into Mailer Mailer gets brought down I thought that would have been given as a penalty luckily it wasn't and we was let off Murphy getting the ball up here getting his head up finding the ball out wide to Alito Alito on the effort good save from McGregor so close to pulling up an equaliser and trying to shock the Tigers the ball played through for Brady. Brady looking to get it in towards Boyd. It does come through to Boyd. And Femi with another good block. But El Mohamedy just slides it underneath Canavan. And it does go in for whole second. And that is pretty much the game dead and buried. Lee picks up the ball late on. Scott coming through trying to get a goal. Trying to get a consolation. Gets it back to Lee. But it was blocked by McShane. Unfortunately, we get the corner though. Elito looking to swing in the corner towards Wilkinson, headed out as far as a go go. A go go giving it over to Lewington. Lewington looking to have a shot and forcing McGregor into a save. Unlucky Lewington of all people looking to get a consolation goal. That would have been one for the history books, of course. But that was full time. That was 2 0. Two hole. We are out of the cup. And unfortunately, that was two cups that we were knocked out of in this episode. But overall, I think we played very well in both of them. In both of them against higher up opposition, so you can't ask the boys to do much more. So here you can see in the league, we are in seventh with nine points from five matches, still undefeated, which is very good in the league. But anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to ensure you don't miss a video. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, link in the description. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.